Hi guys, and welcome to my couch. Um, I'm Carmen Mayfield. I am a college student, and I like to knit. Um, this is my first time recording a video. Hopefully you like it. If you don't, that's cool. Um, if this goes somewhere, I'll try to make it better next time. If not, then it was just a one-shot thing, and I tried it and it didn't work. So, we'll see how it goes. It's a hit or miss situation. All right. Today, I am going to be reviewing Burnat Yarn. Let's see. Ah, there you go. Nice. Um, I'm going to be reviewing Burnat Yarn. And the reason I'm reviewing this yarn is because I went to a chain store called Ollie's, hashtag not sponsored, and they had Burnat Yarn for $3.99. And I was like, hmm, that's a good deal. So I picked up like two of each color, 12 skeins, maybe? And each one is 220 yards. All the information's on the label. I'm going to go over that. I'm going to go over... I'm gonna go over initial thoughts and things like that. So yeah, let's, uh, let's get into it. Um, so I tried to get two of each color because um, I didn't know what I wanted to use for. I thought about making a blanket, um, but I could also do a robe, which is really cool because bathrobes are super awesome. I have one right here that my mom got me, and it's super soft, and it has llamas and alpacas on it, and cacti, and I love it. Um, I have this one right here that I have not rolled yet. I always roll my yarn before I knit because it helps keep it from getting tangled. Um, super cool. Uh, I have this one here. It's the same color as this one. I just already rolled and balled it up. As you can see, uh, the ball turns out to be huge. Um, compared to the yarn, side-by-side -side comparison. Um, it's still a little smaller, which makes for easy storage, too, if you don't have a lot of room and you like to knit. Oh, this is my apple. He's going to hold my yarn for me. All right. Uh, so first thing is I really like the colors and how it has this stripy, swirly pattern. I think that'll be really pretty on a blanket. Um, and it shows you here they have an example on the label of... What it'll look like as you knit, which is super cool. Always save your yarn labels. I try to do this with all of my yarn because I feel like it has a lot of good information on it. And if you like the yarn and you want to buy it again, if you have the label, it's so much easier to find. I guarantee. All right, so taking the label off, this one actually. Oh wait, hold on. No, it's not clean. Okay, so when I open the other one, I wasn't sure if I was going to do this video, so I just kind of opened it anyway. When I open the other one, so this is the label I just took off, this is the one that's the old one. It has, I don't know if you can see that on camera, but it's got like pink on that, and then on the inside, it's got purple along that. So there's like purple on the inside of it, there's pink on the outside, which means that the dye has sort of bled through and bled off of the yarn. Um, and then this one, I thought it looked really clean, but right on the inside here, you can see that on camera. Yep, do it like that, over this way. There you go. If you can see that on camera, some of the dye has bled through off of this one. Which makes me kind of sad, but with colors like reds, pinks, purples, um, usually those colors do tend to bleed with anything. Like, you know those scenes in movies where they take a pink shirt and they throw it in with a bunch of white clothes and it's like, oh no! Um, yeah, it's like that. It's just the color that does it, really. Um, so my only recommendation would be to be careful when you're washing it or if you're going to be putting it near um near white or light clothes or things like that and actually on the label another good reason to save them is because on the insides of this label it has specific care instructions for the yarn i'm going to leave that up for a second so you guys can see it but i'm also going to read it off 
Care instructions, wash in water not exceeding 86 degrees Fahrenheit or 30 degrees Celsius at delicate setting. Do not bleach, tumble dry at low heat at delicate setting. Do not iron or press, do not dry clean. And it has it in different languages as well for my non-English speaking viewers. Love you guys. All right. So, yeah. Really good reason to keep your yarn labels because it'll tell you how to wash it, if you can wash it, things like that. It also has some useful information here on this part of the label. Some of you who are knitters might be familiar with this, trying to get it lined up correctly. There you go, how's that look? I wish you guys could see it better, sorry. Alright, so yeah, that's what that looks like. And what it says is it tells you that it's super bulky, that's what that little six means. I know you can't see it from there, I'm sorry. Um, and then it has the needle that they want you to use, that they recommend you use, um, for both knitting and crocheting, and the size is an 8 millimeter, which is an 11 in US. So, yeah, it, that's just the gauge for your stitches if you're a knitter. Um, you know what that means? If not, it's basically, um, how wide your stitches are gonna be, sort of, um, how closely knit they're going to be or how closely crocheted. If you choose a needle that's above what they recommend, you're going to have big gaps, which can be quite stylistic if you choose to do so. And then if you use one that's smaller, it's going to be really close knit and kind of elastic. Um, so yeah, just some things to note. Um, one of the things I noticed when I was rolling this same yarn into a ball on this one is that um, the pink had actually come through on the white. Let me see if I can find a good place. So you see how there's that white right there in the center. Um, the pink, which is here in the center and also up here on this side, um, some of the dye from it had bled through onto the white um, that was in the center on this one and turned it a sort of light pale pink color which I'm not mad about it is a really gorgeous color but it was intended to be white and the dye bled through and that kind of upset me a little but it's $3.99 for this huge ball of yarn that is really soft the texture feels good so it's a it's a give take situation if you're on a budget then it's not that big of a deal but if you splurge on your yarn then that's super below your standards probably um other than that feels good has a nice little stretch to it it's pretty nice yarn um the colors they had at ollie's there was this one and i believe it says the exact color on the label little lilacs is what it's called that's the name of that color um, they also had this one, which I got two skeins of. It's a really pretty burgundy. Um, and they named it Purple Plum, which is funny because it's red. <laughs> um, really nice, really soft. Oh, also, another reason to save your labels. Um, they have patterns on them here. I'll take this one off and I'll roll this one next. Um... Yeah, right here. There we go. Let me see if I can get that in frame. Focus, focus, focus. Ugh. I do like this. And then bend it inward. Ha ha! Cheating the system. Alright, I don't know if you can see that too well. But basically it says, Yarn Inspirations Burnout Blanket. Free pattern on label. And then you can turn it around. Oh, I ripped it a little, but that's fine. It's got all the instructions on how to make that on the inside of your label. Um, a lot of yarn companies will do this for their different yarns. Um, Bernat does it. I know that Red Heart also does it. Red Heart is a great brand if you are on a budget, and they're widely available in most stores. So, love Red Heart. Um, 
yeah, this one, first impressions, it feels really nice, feels really soft. Just want to hug it. Um, yeah, I like it. Uh, before I start rolling that, I'm going to show you guys some other colors that they have. And you know what? I actually might just make a whole separate video about rolling yarn because I feel like there's a lot I need to cover. Um, there's this color, which I thought was really nice. Um, really pretty. It's got yellow, uh, a kind of, how would you describe that? Yellow, white, sort of a tealish green, and then a darker gray blue. Really pretty, really nice. This one also has a pattern on the label. It says right here, pattern on label. Um, again, the information here, it is a super bulky yarn, so they recommend that you use 8 millimeter or size 11 needles for this one. Um, it said the same thing on the burgundy yarn. There we go. I'm getting used to the camera because, like, this is my left and this is my right. So it's flip flops. I've not done this before. <laughs> um, this one is the same color as the other one. I got two of every color. I wanted to get more because it was such a good deal, but I don't want to, like, hoard stuff because other people might need yarn right now. Like, that knitting is a very stress-reducing activity, and it's very therapeutic and healing for a lot of people. So I don't want to take all the yarn and have it be that other people can't get it because they might need it, and it's such a good deal. It's really cheap right now. Um... So, this is another color that I got. I really like this one because it's kind of funky. It gives me Scooby-Doo vibes because it's got, like, um, Shaggy's green here and then his, like, brown pants and then Daphne's purple all through here. It's, like, it's kind of groovy, man. <laughs> um, yeah, and then another burgundy. Oh, wait, I should probably read off the names of these colors. This one is called Plum Chutney. And this one is called Soft Sunshine Green. Isn't that the cutest name? Alright. Um, I have this one which is called Mallard Wood, and I actually picked this one up because the green color here, the bluish green, um, reminds me a lot of a university in my town that I plan on transferring over to when I get my associates. So, you know, we vibe, super cool, I could make my own merch. <laughs> um, this one again, Mallard Wood, very cute. This one is the Plum Chutney again. And then these two, I'm really excited for. They're my babies. Um, this one, they're called Rocket Blast. And they look really cool. They're really vibrant. It gives me, like, sea anemone vibes, kind of. Like, if you have someone, like, who's really into sea exploration or tropical fish, this might be a good one to use to knit them, and that's what it looks like with all the stripes. This would be a good one to use to knit them like a blanket or a throw or something like that. Really pretty. So, the one thing about the dies is that for, um, I keep forgetting the names, for the little lilacs yarn, um, a lot of the colors, like, bled through, but they're really vibrant in person. I know it's hard to tell on camera and everything's really washed out, and I'm sorry. I'm trying to figure out my setup. Um, this is a really, really vibrant yarn. I'm just scared that, like, all of them, they're all vibrant. I'm just scared that the color would, like, bleed off or bleed through after use. Like, let's say you took it and you made a scarf or a hat, or a cardigan, or whatever you want. Um, let's say that you made one of those, and you put it over a white shirt, or white pants, and then it's not cool anymore, 
and it starts bleeding through on your clothes. That's my only concern. Um, I will test these out and maybe write a review, review <laughs> and maybe write a review about them later. Um, just giving like final thoughts. Uh, we'll see. Yeah. Um, these are all going right back into the bag. Sorry for the crinkling. Um, the reason I keep my yarns in the plastic bag that I got them in until I roll them is so that they stay clean and don't really touch anything else. Uh, you want to keep your yarns clean because once they get dirty, once they get pet hair on them, once they get an odor, a smell, um, anything like that, it's hard to get it out without ruining the yarn. And then if there's something in there and it gets tangled, it's hard to untangle knots from yarn without destroying the yarn, like I said. Um, cause yarn tears, it does all this weird, crazy stuff. It's fun. It's fun to work with. But there are issues that occur. Um, things like that. So yeah, um, that was my review of the Burnat yarn. And, um, yeah, overall, uh, colors, super cool. Um, I got it from Ollie's. The price was Decent, three ninety nine for two hundred twenty yards. Um, all they had was the super chunky, so Ollie's didn't offer a variety. But I know that Burnett has a larger variety um, in their own stores. You can shop for it online. You can find it on Amazon. Um, yeah. So the dye leaks through. That's kind of the only drawback I'm seeing so far. Um, as I work with it, I'll like talk about whether it splits or not, and I'll just uh, keep you guys posted, I guess. <laughs> See you till next time. <laughs>